Hi everyone, today I'm going to show you how to quickly and simply create a custom button in Salesforce. We're going to be using the contact record as our example, but you can create a custom button on any standard or custom object. Uh, so it's up to you how you use this. I'm just gonna show you how to do it quickly and easily with a specific use case. So today we're going to be looking at a contact named Aaron Rogers, and we are going to be creating a button to show up here at the top of the page that will quickly create a closed case and allow us to log some quick notes and close that case out automatically with some specific information. So I'll show you how to do that. Now, standard to Salesforce on the contact, we can already come to the cases related list and click the new case button. And you can see that it defaults the owner to me uh, or the current user updates the status to new, priority to medium, there's no case origin, sets the contact to Aaron Rodgers, and that's about all that it does. So that's perfect for a standard setup, but we're gonna wanna do something a little more custom here, specific on our needs. So all we have to do is from the contact page, click the gear icon and click edit object. This takes us directly to the contact hub in the Salesforce setup menu. From there, we just come down to the buttons, links, and action section, and we're gonna click the new action button in the top right. From here, we are planning to create a case on the contact record. So creating a record is exactly what we want to do. And we are going to be creating a case and we'll use the standard, uh, actually, we're gonna use our own custom label. So we're gonna leave that blank and our custom label is going to be, uh, log closed case. So we'll be able to quickly log a closed case. Uh, there's no need for a feed item. And we'll just say case logged successfully. All right, so that's all we're gonna do. So all that does is that actually creates the button, but there's no logic behind it. So we need to uh, simplify what we're gonna do here. So uh, depending on what you might want to fill in uh, when you're closing this case, uh, we really don't need much. So we're just gonna have a description and then maybe a subject. And that's it, the contact name will log automatically, the status is automatically going to log. So anytime you're setting up the layouts for what's gonna happen when you see a button, you just want to simplify it down to exactly what the end user needs to see. So we might put type in here also, um, just for extra information if they need to fill that in. Uh, so I'm gonna go ahead and save this. And it's just letting you know that some standard fields uh, that are required are not on the layout. So we need to make sure to provide a default value. Um, and I'll show you how to do that. So what happens is right now we have a button and you can click it and it will create a case. And it's going to show the layout that we defined in the second step where we have our subject description and type. So right now, if you click the button, it's gonna show those three fields, click save. Um, but nothing's gonna happen to actually make it follow this log close case logic. So how are we gonna do that? First, we're gonna define the field status. So I just come to my field selector, select status, and then I'm just gonna make it closed. So immediately this case is going to be closed. Now, a few other things you have to do, we have to make sure that the case relates itself back to the contact like the standard button does. The way that we do that is we come to Let's see, I believe on the case, uh, we may just be able to fill in contact name. I know in the background it's called the who ID, uh, but I'm gonna fill in the contact name here and we'll just go with that. And the way I'll do that is I'll actually insert a field to make sure I, sure I pull back the correct ID. And we're gonna look at the contact that this triggered from and pull in the contact ID, insert that and save it, that's gonna make the button actually relate the case to the correct contact. And I'm, I'll have to check and make sure that I use the right field here, but we'll be able to find out pretty quickly and I'll show you how to do that. All right, so we're gonna relate it to the contact with a specific status. And let's see if there's anything else we might wanna default here. I'll probably just drop in a uh, default priority of medium. And then let me see if there are any other fields I might want to default in here, but you can see the power of this uh, setup where we can go through and easily 
uh, log these, log this information um, automatically, and we can default all of this information in our button. You used to have to use button hacks, but now you can actually default the information uh, through the standard setup. So I think I filled in just about everything I would like to fill in automatically. Uh, maybe I'll go ahead and do the case owner here and I'll set that to the current user ID. So you'll see, I can come here, go to the current user and then just fill in that user ID field. All right, and let's see if this button works now. Um, I haven't tested this at all, so we'll go check it out. So first I have to actually come to the contact page layout and edit the layout that I'm using. So I'll check my page layout assignment, check who is, uh, which assignment is for the system admin. So that is the contact layout. So I can hop right into the contact layout there, go to my mobile and lightning actions, and then look for my new button. So let's see, I'd actually have to remember what I named my new button. And that would be log closed case. So I'm gonna come back to that layout, sorry about that. And come back to my mobile and lightning actions and then find my log close case button. So I just need to click the, the wrench icon here to open this up and we'll say log a closed case and we'll put it right here at the front so it's easy to find. All right, and now I'm coming back to the Aaron Rodgers view. So I'm gonna click refresh here. And you can see I now have this log closed case button right up here. So that's what we've been working on. So I'm gonna click the log closed case button. You can see the fields based on the layout. So the subject is, uh, you know, whatever you want it to be, but uh, quick call and resolved issue. It was, a, we'll call it a mechanical issue. And mechanical issue was resolved. Hopefully they put more detail than this, but that's what you're looking for. And we'll click save. And you can see right here, everything has been logged to the case. And let's go check it out and make sure it closed and everything we expected it to. So now checking on this, we have our case owner. We have our contact related properly. We have the priority and the status set and a mechanical issue. So everything has been set correctly. Everything looks really good. And we have here in what about five minutes been able to create a custom button that logs a closed case on a contact record. So you can imagine just move through the buttons and check out the different options that you have on labeling. Um, you can create records, update records, send emails, um, trigger flows, all kinds of different stuff. So you have a lot of options with custom buttons, but they are very easy to create. You can see just like we did here and they can save your users a lot of time. Thanks for watching. If you're finding value in the videos, uh, please click subscribe and like on the video, and we'll be sure to continue to create quality content for you. Thanks again.